So this case included the part of the chest and abdomen. In this section, the first image, which was in the slices, so you can just appreciate that there is a sort of an hypodense lesion just just into this area. And then as I browse uh, down, so you'll see an, a lesion in this left perihilar region. And then a large lesion here, another one in this area, and might be a small one in this region. So if I just uh, go down into the abdominal region you will appreciate that in this plane there is another lesion which is relatively solid appearing and is also causing mild bulge of the uh, splenic outline no significant uh, lymphadenopathy was appreciated in the abdomen otherwise represented some sort of a malignant process with uh, so i just suggested that we should also do a chest CT as well as this lesion was seen in this area. These are the chest images of the same patient and if you can just appreciate that there are multiple nodular areas in the anterior mediastinum and these are continuing all the way down up to the same area from where the CT abdomen images had started. So these raises most likely the suspicion of uh, the lymphoma and obviously biopsy is, and tissue diagnosis is suggested for further value. The other pathology which was evident is that if you just focus on this area you will see that this is the origin of the celiac trunk and as I come down this is the origin of the superior mesenteric artery. Now, as I browse inferiorly, you will appreciate that the superior mesenteric vein is going to lie towards the left side of the superior mesenteric artery, which is normally uh, not seen because the vein should be on the right side of the artery rather than the left side. And then another thing which I appreciate is that this is the part of the duodenum, which is coming all the way down and then this duodenum is crossing like this and then it swells around and this is the part of the duodenum coming out so and there is also twisting of vessels as if you appreciate in, on this region that so this is the artery this is the vein and as i browse down these are showing a twist sort of appearance and secondly by some windowing you can also appreciate that uh, the Part of the appendix is also in this region and this is the algocecal region which is also uh, displaced towards the left side and so this was the second uh, pathology which was seen uh, so these were two concurrent pathologies one was the multiple lesions most likely lymphoma and the second was there was there was malrotation with possible mid-gut volvulus and this patient had some sort of uh, uh, vomiting issues as well which were rather chronic. So this was a case where satisfaction of search can hinder finding us further pathologies as when we found multiple lesions in the lung and spleen with small of lesion in the mediastinal region. So we just stopped our search and said okay this is lymphoma but in you should follow a checklist always to make sure you don't miss any pathologies which are concurrent with the main significant pathology. Thank you for your listening.